Happy Muff New Year. <laughs> Bleak that out, Lucian. <laughs> not supposed to be cussing in the New oh, Year. I, in the first, I bleeped it in out. I bleeped it 30s. out. You bleeped it out yourself, so keep it in. Yeah. Keep that I in, Lucian. Um, okay. Hi. Happy New Year. I'm so glad to be in front of you that we have survived another year. Was that a good thing or a bad thing? Only time will tell. But happy to have you here. Happy that um, a lot of more of you are starting to watch the YouTube. I feel like that's that's good. Um, tell your friends about us. I hope that you had a good new year. I hope that, um, did you guys do any of the traditions, the superstitions, the good luck bringers? Did y'all do anything? Let us know. Um, I did everything personally. So I'm going to have a great year and I'm claiming it. And I'm going to look back on this and be like, I should have said that because I did have a great year. Like, who knows? By the time we look back on this pop culture episode for 2024, happy 2024, maybe I'll be married in a mansion after getting married at the Met. We made vision boards, you guys. If you are part of the Patreon, <laughs> you saw our vision boards. and. I, Aaron left nothing behind. I forgot to put a house on mine, but it's just home ownership oh, no, is just so first. out. Then I thought about it. I'm like homeowner, really because I want to. I want to plant my crops in the backyard, and then I can plant <laughs> my own grapes, and that's going to be even more powerful. To plant your grapes, your and own eat grapes, them and pick them and eat them under the table. God, that's a freedom that I I hope that we're able to afford in 2024. Yeah if not 2025 baby so what we did and you know what we're transferring our luck over to you guys obviously um we did the grape thing i know that you saw it it went viral eating grapes under the table from 11:59 into midnight right. 12 grapes one for each month in the year i did that i was almost not able to get back up from under the table that shit was not a joke and then on top of it 12 grapes a lot more than it sounds i don't know if you ate that's 12 what i'm saying hard grapes that you have to like munch and chomp on but it was not a yeah. joke no because i had to sort through them and i wanted to, to choose the biggest ones because for <laughs> some reason i'm like okay if i do the small ones they're probably not going to count as much so mm -hmm. i'm like you ain't gonna have a little bit of luck. You want a lot of luck. Right. I need a lot. So I'm like, get those big ass grapes, like the biggest ones. And then I tried to eat like two or three at a time. Uh huh. And that's where I fucked up at. Yeah, because no. I was just like, I would have choked. I don't know how what, people are doing this. What color did you do? I did sits purple, the sits of the purple ones, and sits of the green ones. Okay. I did all green because when I tell you, they didn't have the six and six. I guess everyone heard about it. So I was like, okay, nice to know. I, think I literally everyone... got one of those mini Publix fruit bowls. Yeah. And I got a bag of grapes on the side. So that's why. I oh, genius, food. genius. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I had six, no, 12 big ass green grapes, got under the table, ate them while like rockets and fireworks and bombs and shots rang out. Everyone is like happy new year, shaking ass, kissing people, throwing money. And I'm under a table eating grapes, not just for me, but for you watching and you listening. I didn't, yeah. I took it for us. Then fast forward to the first day of January. I also did the old tradition of eating some collard greens and some black eyed peas. That's money and the black eyed peas has changed. Mm -hmm. Even though I don't want change, I ate a scoop of it anyway. Um, mm -hmm. And that is what I did on the first. And that means that we're getting money, good luck, a car, a house, a home, a hotel, travel, what is now, have you, felt any, have you felt any changes since then? Yes, I just feel the air has changed around me. Mm -hmm. I just I feel, feel like way. good things will happen. And I don't know mm -hmm. what's going to happen, but I just feel it coming. Like, we're just going to like, you know, and it's also the new year. And also, I think that we are, are we out of 
Hey Siri. Uh huh. Are we out of retrograde? <laughs> I found this on the web. Okay, girl, you could have fucking read it to me, but she's like, no. She's like, um, I ate my grapes. I'm, I quit my job. <laughs> <laughs> Siri quit her job for her New Year's. Siri's having years. the time of her fucking life right now. We are out of retrograde. Guys, when I tell you that's the first good luck that I've had all year, because people have been God. trying it. They've been trying it ever since we announced that that shit was going on. They've been mm-hmm. fucking trying mm-hmm. it. From I want to know, though, start. how long, when did it end? Did it end like It weeks? ended it the first. End, like five it minutes just ago. Ended. Yeah, the first. It ended okay. yesterday as of this recording. Because I'm tomorrow. like, because they were trying all the way up until the last yeah, minute. Yeah. Even and yesterday, I'm just like, yeah. Girl. Even on the on the first day, I'm like, I'm trying to keep it happy, but <laughs> <laughs> watch your tone. <laughs> watch your tone. It's too much. So I'm glad I couldn't I'm take it anymore. There was so many community. It was. I would say it was pure communication issues. Pure communication, communication issues. issues, attitudes. Like I just, <sighs> yeah. So uh, that that was the first. See, we did it. It was. I feel like if we didn't eat the grapes, we'd still be in retrograde. I'm just yeah. saying. Um. So yeah. So good luck to me. Good luck to you. May God bless us all with everything that we want. Amen. 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 Getting now. Into it, are we going to do our black excellence for today? I was going to ask you, yes, what is your black excellence? Because I know that you wanted to tell us about the big experience. Mm. But that might not be your black excellence. Which the experience are you? T- red and blue. What does red and blue make? Oh, uh, that okay, yeah, that that's gonna be okay. So I have two. It's gonna go to Erica Ditson because she's really showing these bitches on Love and Hip Hop Atlanta that. She oh, you're really watching Love and Hip Hop Atlanta again? I seen the trailer for it, and I'm really excited because Erica Ditson's coming back like for real, for real, and she's like she's over it. But Erica Ditson is definitely going to be my first because the way she's just been doing what she wants to do with Scrappy all 2023 and mm-hmm. not caring about what anybody has to say, I love that for her. Um, mm-hmm. And then my next one is going to go to the Color Purple cast, which is really the main one. I want to make that my... If I can, I want to sw- swap those because I feel like that needs more of a, a priority because they did so good on this movie. Mantasia to Raji, uh, 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 Danielle Brooks, uh, Halle Bailey. What, uh, how was Sierra? I heard that Sierra was in it. Halle Bailey. <laughs> they did such a wonderful job. <laughs> they did such a wonderful job. I can't believe it. And that's what that's that's what I want to <laughs> that's what I want to leave it on. Bantasia, you deserve all the awards. The way you were singing down from start to finish. Mm-hmm. Some people I cannot say the same. One person I cannot say the same. What per- is the person? Has the person been mentioned on this podcast? It's see, you just mentioned her. It's Sierra. I want to be <laughs> honest. I did not expect that. I knew she was going to be in the movie. And I knew the role she was going to play. I kind of put two and two together. But I just thought it was going to be one of those things where she, like, came at the end. Mm-hmm. And we seen her. And then the movie just turned off. <laughs> I thought that's what it was going to be. But you they did a song together. And I was like, ooh, I don't want to see her, sing, like, singing by Bantasia. And I don't want to get it confused. I think Sierra is an amazing artist. I think she's great at what she does. Uh-huh. I like that song that she has. Um, all yeah. of them. You can't. You could have said one two step. You could have said. Oh, I love one two step. And the one, the one. Um, that's just how we roll. I think that's what it's called. Uh-huh. Like that's the newer song. one. That's the one that went mm-hmm. viral on TikTok. Really good, but for the color purple. Mm mm. Mm mm. No. Yeah. I get it. I get it. 
Um, my blog excellence is is you know obviously color purple. Shout out to them, but mine is going to be Tony Braxton just because I love Tony Braxton. <laughs> and then I know that you guys have probably seen by now the video of Krishan crashing the prayer circle oh, and like trying to grab Tony Braxton's hand, and she just puts her hand behind her back. Yeah, and. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm talking about a prayer circle, so I'm not going to go off like I wanted to go off. I was going to be like, I was going to say something else, but it's a new year. It's a prayer circle, and I don't want any bad luck. Um, but when you are dealing with someone that you do not know, and someone who goes viral for all of, an array of reasons, I won't say all bad, sometimes there are good moments that Krishan has. Like when, the, when Krishan Jr. met his grandfather, that was beautiful. When she took Krishan Jr. to get prayed on, upon, yeah, that was beautiful. So it's not always viral for a bad moment. But if someone crashes your prayer circle and they are famous for going viral for an array of reasons, and also you have lupus, which is an autoimmune disease, which if you get sick, you could quite literally die. You're not gonna grab yeah. everyone's hand. Me, I tell people, you feel sick, you can't come around me. I can't get sick. It's going to be worse for me than it is for you. So someone with lupus especially should not be holding hands with everyone and their mother. A lot of people had a lot of criticism saying that she should have took Krishan's hand because uh, you know, it's a prayer circle and that is so unchristian like of her to put her hand behind her back and blah, blah. They were going in on Tony Living Legend Braxton. And you know what? I actually blame Tamar for this because she started it by inviting her. So right. they were going in about, you know, her rejecting Krishan's hand when it's like, dude, you don't know why she did it. It could also be to protect her energy. Because a lot of people believe in a transfer of energy when you're touching say, other people, yeah. especially someone, like I said, that goes viral for an array of reasons. So she did nothing but protect her energy. She tried to be nice and sing a little doo wop pop pop with her sister and did not expect what happened that night, which led to a couple of other chaotic things that should not have happened around Tony V. Braxton. So yeah, shout out to Tony for the Black Excellence Award. And anyone who disagrees with Krishan, uh, you know, crashing in and you think that Tony should have held her hand regardless, yeah, y'all can kick rocks. Cause I'm not trying to, you know, we're talking about a player circle, so I have to be very uh, Yeah. But no, you know, but I, I, I totally agree with that. And I feel like it was it was very confusing that Tamar chose to speak on that and do a whole story about that but when that man got hit in his mouth i didn't really and it seems she's still liking krishan stuff she's there there's still blame being shifted around people are being messy we don't know the real I'm like really the real reason that everything yeah. happened it's not on krishan either i want to be very clear krishan's gonna krishan she has showed us who she is you accept it or you don't you invite her or you don't you invited her it's all on Tamar Braxton, who I love, but it's all on her. It's true. It's true. Period. And I definitely, if my sister was Tony Braxton, I would have invited Krishan maybe to the next date when I had Drew Sedora or Candace Dillard with me, not when I yeah, have no. Tony Braxton with me. Or like Very a beer weird. or something like that. Yeah, a beer. I just don't okay, know. so that's the black excellence. Is there anything else that you want to say about the color purple movie? Like, do you want to give us a review? Do you want to give us expectations versus what you got, or are you are you good on that? Um, I will say I, I won't. I don't want to give too much away because I still want y'all to go out and see it. But I will say that it's like a replica of the old movie, a little bit more stripped down, more of a musical. I would say. Uh, mm -hmm. So if you're looking for a more serious tone, even though, no, this this one had a serious tone as well. But if you're looking for like the acting and the theatrics and the dramatics and all of that, I would recommend, you know, going back and watching the old movie. But if you're looking for something uplifting and 
uh, more musical, I would say this one would be for you. If you're a musical type of person, this is the movie for you. A lot of people are kind of trashing the movie and comparing it to the old one and saying that it's, it can't even stand up next to it. But I feel like it's because you guys are trying to look at it too closely. It's a it's a great standalone project. They've been doing this. They've been doing the plays. So it has its own fan base. It has, you know, I look at it separately. It's a little bit old. lighter. It's lighter. Yeah. It's modern. It's a different take. It's less heavy. It's a different tape. But it's, it, it's like, once you look at it together, it's the same thing. They were a little bit more open with the relationship between Suge and Seeley, um, mm-hmm. which I appreciated it because that's how it was written in the book. It was true. Like, um, it's all true. It's the truth. It's the truth. You know? So I felt like it was really good. Like I said, Vantasia did her thing. There isn't one person that I would recast aside from Nettie, which is Sierra. Who that's would you the only person. It with? Oh, that's a good. That's a good question. Don't say Miss Juicy because I know that that's like the first thing that comes. I was going to say Sheena Shea, but you know what? Um. Honestly, anybody else, anybody else could have did a, a great job. Um, Shamari DeVoe could have did a, a better job. Okay. okay. Actually, Shamari DeVoe would have kind of ate that. Yeah, maybe so. Yeah, that's why I say okay. Yeah. But good movie otherwise. Um, great, great, yeah, great movie. I'm, I'm going to give it to its tens. I'm also going to respect the opinion of those who d- don't like it. That's fine. But I would say give it a try and don't let people from social media convince you to not see this movie. Mm-hmm. Go and form your own opinion like I always yes. do. Because yes. I just love movies in general. So It's worth it. Um, do it. Should we get into the news? <laughs> You're ready? Oh yeah, I'm ready. this is your report. This is your report, baby. Listen, Hold on, I just wanna I just wanna come back with the stolen from oh, my mom's house. Oh, you have on your merch today. I was like, wait, huh? You stolen from my mom's house, today. who literally did not want to give it to me at all, even though I she has today. not been on the podcast, refuses to come on the podcast. Don't even know how to get to the podcast, but I got our old merch on. That's the old, old merch. Shout out to. I should have worn my cap today. Or no, I you actually, shouldn't have. Ne- next time I it. No, <laughs> you you wore it once. We'll leave that in twenty twenty three. Not twenty twenty three. Okay, guys. Um, so we do have some unfortunate news. This isn't really a celebratory podcast like usual. Honestly, it's the last thing. Well, not the last thing I wanted to talk about, but it's the last thing that I wanted to hear about. And that is Rachel Lindsay getting a divorce. You know that Aaron is the local divorce announcer for celebrity Got divorces. It. Can you believe <laughs> heading for divorce? I never seen it coming. I mean, I did realize that they weren't posting as much. For you, for those of you who don't know, if you go on my, I want to say my Instagram. Don't I have it up on the air, Marcellus? I, I do believe. But I, I met her at BravoCon, and Rachel is so sweet. We've been following her with The Bachelorette. We've been following her for some time. She went from Bachelorette. She also um, hosted Mm -hmm. the Bachelor Nation podcast. She was also, fun fact, one of the original hosts, along with Travis Mills of Secret Relationship, which airs on MTV, which is still a really good fucking show. Shout out to Secret Relationship, because y'all be y'all be fucking things up. That's not that's gonna be over there. Um, But she does a lot of hosting. She hosted a panel at BravoCon. So yes. And we she has Rachel her Lindsay. YouTube, her own YouTube show too. I always forget the name because she does so much. But I've yeah. been watching it sometimes on Saturdays. So y'all go check that out. You just type in Rachel Lindsay on YouTube and it'll pop up. But they filed for divorce New Year's Eve. Okay. 
Uh, so Brian, and how do you even post. file for divorce on New Year's Eve? Because everything that I know, like courts and mail and all of the official stuff, you can't even do that. Listen, I just they were like enough is enough. Like I've had enough. Well, okay, so who filed? He or her? That's the question. Brian. Mm, mm, mm. But um, from Brian's story, it looks like it was a mutual thing because he says, if you've been following me for a while, you know I don't like to put my personal fears on social media and like to keep a safe space for our family. Many of you know me as a chiropractor and also as a husband. My proudest role so far. After more than four years of marriage, Rachel and I have made the difficult decision to part ways and start a new. Uh, My parents have been married forever and I'm a family man, but sometimes loving yourself and your partner means you must let go. I wanted you to hear it from the source before the blog started making up their own reality. Please respect the space of our family and friends as we figure out our next steps respectfully, Brian. Oh, that's so a nice that little was, cute little statement. Cause he yeah, finally, yeah. I'm waiting for yeah. Rachel to say something. Did Rachel say anything? Yeah, Rachel did pop up and she said, let me actually speak because I screenshot at hers. <laughs> well, she hasn't directly, let me see. She hasn't directly spoke up yet, but she, she did say that 2023 was one of the hardest years of her life. And she think, made this post on her story and she said, lessons of 2023, do not trust all the thoughts, go where you are celebrated. Real friends are just real. If it's forced, it will probably fail. If they can't show up for themselves, they won't show up for you, <laughs> move on. Patience will always be a friend. It's so okay to outgrow people, places, and things. Growing pains are necessary to get to the next level. People will show you who they are. Always believe them. all of this. So y'all know, I don't know if that means anything because, you know, I get on Instagram and I post stuff all the time. Um, but I do believe it's relevant to what she's going through. Um, yeah, very, uh, you know, it's one of those when you break up and you look for a quote that describes exactly what you're going through and you post it. Yeah. And That's then according to court documents they are they are saying that um the the husband is his name brian mm-hmm. i was forgetting that name. uh but they say he's requesting spousal support show yeah so fuck him how about that mm-hmm. um he did not make all that money i have not seen him anywhere if he was chiropracting then he can go back to yeah. chiropracting what you said or what i heard is what you said, is what you told me, is that distance is a factor in the breakup, yeah. allegedly. Yeah, allegedly Sounds like distance if is. distance is the factor and you're filing for spousal support, sounds like you needed money, so you should have moved your ass wherever the fuck she was and saved your marriage and went up that hill and saved your marriage. I like you, Scott. So I hope he gets denied that. all that. And you're a chiropractor, yeah. so you're going to make a lot of money on your own as a man. But how dare you? She, this girl has been working. How dare you? Y'all ain't got no kids. Now. Y'all ain't got no kids. So what the fuck you need spousal support for? <laughs> it just blows my mind that he even said that in those people courtroom. Like, like you stood up there and you literally let the lawyer scribble it out and you signed and yeah. sealed and delivered it and you asked for spousal uh, support just like Mark. Well, Mark, okay, y'all have a child together. Okay, you're a bum. Okay, whatever. <laughs> you're a bum. You're a loser. You got an earring. Um, but with this dude, no child. You're a chiropractor, so you're always in. You always have patients, customers, Mm -hmm. clients, whatever you call it. You don't need it. It does break my heart, though, because they seem so happy together. And I was I was really rooting for them. Um, And then again, like I like Rachel. She seems like such a sweet person. Mm -hmm. And she's so warm and and nice. I I just want the absolute best for her. I want this to work out smoothly. That's why I won't go too hard on it. 
and really getting his ass like how I wanted to because I oh, was like, like I just did. Yeah. No. Well, well, no, you you didn't do too bad. This okay. isn't too bad because we can really get in that ass. But we yeah, but <laughs> New Year knew us. Yeah, New Year knew us, and on top of that, week. you know, we we like Rachel and we want to support her and st- uh. But if she goes business, off, but stay out of her business, kind of. But if she goes off, trust and believe. Yeah. Yeah, it's we're going to go off with her. It's up. It's up. So, you know, send the love to Rachel. We support you. You know, we love you. You always have a home here. Please come on the podcast. And, like, I know you're dealing with a lot now. So, you know, I'll be respectful of that. <laughs> For you to that. ask that. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately <laughs> after. Listen, I'm just saying, I, we want you. We've been wanting you on the podcast for a while. Um, but I feel like... <laughs> I just wanted to pitch that towards the end. Of course, once you have some time, bro. Take yeah. all the time you need, but once... And if you have something to say, she let has us be your friends. You know what I'm saying? Like, I Listen, get you going through a hard time, but we love you over here and we want you on. Ain't no better place than Bravo. We're black. It's no better place. <laughs> no place. Other than like McDonald's. That's the only possible. So you're going to go to McDonald's and announce that you're getting divorced? If that was you? Shit, for like a, a make, like a, not even a McDonald's. A free like number a one? cheeseburger. And if I could use my points, hell yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's, that's all the depressing news we have. Is, is there anything else that we want to cover? Oh, Really quick, do you have do you have a little bit of time? Yeah, I can have a little okay. bit of time. Y'all, this I, is gonna be a short episode because we are really saving our energy for because tonight is actually the Salt Lake City finale. So we're gonna find out what that phone call is about, what's going on. Like it's about to go down in Salt Lake City, Utah. I can't point Utah out on a map, but bitch they got some good housewives so this is just your little appetizer this is your little welcome to 2024 good luck we love you thank you but go ahead listen y'all i just wanted to shout out this show really quick and maybe i'll get into it more like our next episode just so i can finalize something is it called the boys like you're supposed to watch no it's not called the boys Um, okay it's called ready to love make a move which is hosted by tamika lee of southern charm new orleans and it is an amazing show it's a spinoff of ready to love which is hosted by nephew tommy originally and sometimes his wife but mainly nephew tommy hopefully they took care of that um but it's a great show and i wanted to shout out ashley and Zadia, I I know you went through with yours, but I really don't believe that's going to work out, honestly. So I don't want to shout that out because we haven't even finished the reunion. And I feel like it's just kind of not working out, unfortunately. But actually, I do feel like yours is going to work out. I want to make that very clear. I hope you ate them grapes under the table, girl. Yeah, actually, I do feel like yours is going to work out. But Zadia, honestly, I kind of feel like yours isn't going to work out because... Cam acted like he really didn't know what he was he wanted from the jump. And that was his main problem. And then when you guys got together, it kind of seemed like you were just suddenly for anything he was offering at a certain point. It's like, girl, he was not trying to be in a serious relationship. You can very much tell. He wasn't trying to relocate for you. So my whole thing is I don't understand why you didn't let that go when you found out those things but you kept him to the end and i want to know too you can come on the podcast too because i want to know come on did you keep him because you kind of sent your other matches home and Mm. we need to ride out the show listen when my roster gets low right because that was something that i was thinking too maybe that was the case i'm not 100 percent sure but i I really want you to come out in a second because i don't want to i don't want to control your narrative what was the plan with that? Did you know what was going on this time? Were we watching the same? Were you living in the moment? I was watching the show, but were you actually in the moment and seeing what was going on? So what are your red flags 
for Kim. Oh, he had like every time it came down to them like trying to maneuver because the thing is they're in New Orleans. New Orleans. New Orleans. That's what the show is. In 2024, sorry, in 2024, in both Orlando and Disney Hollywood, they're going to have the Tiana ride and it's going to be dope. So shout out to Princess Tiana of Disney Princess Tiana and everyone ride that ride. And also, oh, they're gonna have a restaurant themed like Nolens. And I also saw the making of the ride, and they literally got people from Nolens to curate, obviously, the menu, but also play the music to set the scene. So everything is very authentic. And now, why didn't I get a phone call? They're, they're waiting for you to cut the ribbon. That's what I feel. They want you to see it when it's done. Like, I want to cut the, the ribbon. So you're you the tastemaker. Call me because that's where I'm from. That's call where I was Aaron. born. Please. Because if I talk I about it again the... <laughs> and he's not there, it's going to be a problem. I want to cut that damn ribbon. He's, but I... my problem <laughs> with Zadia is and well we were talking about him my i wanted to know his was, red flags what his, his red name? flags was he was not ready when it was time whenever a conversation came up for him to like relocate he's like mm, i'm not relocating i'm not doing any of that for you i'm staying where i'm at and then it just seemed like whenever she was like talking about their lives together or what could possibly be when it comes to their future he was like mm, we'll see we'll see it gave me a lot of red flags. Like anybody, yeah, he does it. not want to get. Shout out to Chastity because me and her talked about it on the Patreon a little bit in the comments. Um, but she knows exactly what I'm talking about. And if you watch Ready to Love, Make a Move, you know what I'm talking about too. It was kind of mm-hmm. ridiculous. Mm-hmm. And I'm a Zadia fan. I really like Zadia. I really like. Well, that's why you want the best for. Her. Yeah, that's why I want the best for her. I really like Ashley, um, Vernicia, and Tamika. Now, Sharice, I will give her this. You kind of remind me of Evelyn Lozada, the way you think sometimes. And for that, I wasn't sure how I felt about you at first, but you really left the impression on me between the last few episodes and that reunion. And I'll leave it at that because this is a new year. And that's fair. So, Zadia, if you want to come on the show, let us know. Yeah, actually, you know, all y'all, if you're welcome to come on. Right. Um, even Tamika. Oh, we're going to try to get Tamika on for yeah. you guys. That's a big request, though, because she is... No. She's like, high, she's she's high in demand right now. And I told her, you need another season of that show. Yeah. If you don't yeah. listen to nothing else, you need another season of that show. And you need to do it. And they need to invite Denise on. From that season with Joy. Y'all know who I'm talking about. If you watch Ready to Love, get Denise on. Because that's who I expected to see. Get Denise on. Bring Zadia back if that shit don't work out. Like, I think it's not. And then add one more person and we got a show. Yeah. So that's the Ready to Love T. I feel you. I would not. I can't get engaged to a man like that. I'm sorry. I need you to be literally obsessed with me. Like, I want you to not be able to eat or sleep. I want you to be like Ken. I want you to only exist within the warmth of my gaze. And that is not Ken like of him. Um, wow. One last thing, just going not to revert back, but to also revert back to this whole Rachel Lindsay thing. I just realized when you were talking that on The Bachelorette, she really wanted Peter. So I want Brian to know that she really didn't really want you like that anyway. You're a second choice. And that's why you're acting like it. Everyone, if you know, you know, she wanted the other one. And that's what we were all talking about. And she went with you because you were mar- because you were ready to get married because you was desperate and you wanted to also be on TV and propose and do all that shit. And we see you, we see you. Now, yeah. if Peter is still single, Rachel, Go get that thing back. Spin the block season. Nelly and Ashanti that shit. And have a baby with Put them on Ready to Love. Because that's Put what I want to see. Put them on Ready to Love. Put them on Ready to Love. Because Bachelorette, Period. you had your chance. Yeah. 
Okay, well, that's all we wanted to say. We will be back to talk a lot about Bravo. Um, we hope that you're having a great new year. We hope that you're sticking to your resolutions. And if you already broke them, like some people, me, uh, it's okay. We can only start again next year. We love you so much. We'll be back very, very soon. Please rate us five stars. And thank you for all the five star ratings. Bye. Bye, y'all.